Did you know that there is a way to improve the autofocus capability in your Fujifilm camera? Stay tuned because in today's video, I'm going to show you an awesome Fujifilm sleeper feature. Before we get started, make sure to visit my sponsors in the description right below and download my free portrait tips PDF. Check out my gear page at BH Photo to see what I use in my portrait studio and for these crazy videos I make. If you've been using a Fujifilm camera like the X-T5 for a while, you probably already know about LCD performance modes that are mapped into the bottom D-pad button by factory default. Now, if you press this button, you're going to cycle through the EVF slash LCD boost settings. On newer cameras like the X-T5, you have four options here. Low light priority, resolution priority, frame rate priority 100p, and frame rate priority 200p. Depending on your lighting and subject, you can tweak the LCD and EVF for increased resolution, better brightness, or an increased refresh rate. Now, I generally leave my camera on resolution priority since this increases the display resolution and it works well in a variety of shooting conditions. But this video is not about EVF LCD boost, but a related feature that you may not even know is in there. What I'm referring to is the boost mode the subject of today's video. Now buried in the wrench menu under power management, you will find an item named performance, which has three options, boost, normal, and economy. And if you choose boost, you will increase the autofocus capability of your camera. Now, when I discovered this, I was absolutely blown away because I previously thought that boost mode only applied to the LCD and the EVF since the two features are sort of related. What I mean is that in order to use the EVF boost setting, you have to first engage performance boost mode. In other words, the EVF boost only works when performance boost is enabled. And in fact, as you toggle the bottom D-pad on your camera, it will automatically turn on performance boost mode as you choose the LCD boost settings. This is why it's sort of easy to miss or confuse these two settings, but just keep in mind that boost mode is its own separate setting. By enabling boost, you are in fact going to improve the autofocus capability of your camera. The manual says that choosing this option will quote, boost camera focus and viewfinder display performance. And this is definitely one of the best Fujifilm features that I found and something that will make a real practical improvement on our shooting. There is a sacrifice to be made, however, and it comes in the form of battery life. By using the boost mode, your battery will deplete faster than if you use the camera in the normal or economy modes. But this to me is a very fair trade-off, especially if you're using an X-T5 because the battery life is stellar to begin with and much, much better than the X-T4. Now, if you're a cynic like me, you're probably saying to yourself, okay, fair enough, Pete. This is a cool feature and all, but does it really increase the autofocus speed? My answer to you is, how dare you doubt our faithful friends at Fujifilm? Actually, this is the first thing that I thought too, and it really comes with the territory since I am both a New Yorker and an Italian. So I decided that I was gonna test out the AF speed with and without boost enabled on my X-T5. So let's check out the results together. I experimented using AFC with a single focus point. I chose custom setting six, and I set tracking sensitivity to zero and speed tracking sensitivity to two. These were done with a Fuji 16 to 55 as well. Check it out. Now there's certainly no monumental difference, but in boost mode, the camera does seem to snap into focus a bit faster than it does in economy mode. I feel like it has a little bit more pep in its step. Now you might think I'm nuts and that this is just confirmation bias or whatever you call it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Well, there you have it. Boost mode is an awesome feature and it was for me a sleeper feature until recently when I discovered that it can give my autofocus a little bit of a boost 
and I think that's awesome. All right, well, if you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like, comment, and share. My Instagram and Twitter pages are also listed in the description below, so give me a follow there if you're on those platforms too. Here's wishing you an awesome day. Go out and take some great pictures, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.